Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video, very excited because I just got the brand new Tarte, what is it called? It is called the Tarte Sculpt Tape. Um, so that is what I'm trying out today. I got two shades, very excited. This was a product that I hadn't seen any spoilers, any, you know, anything about until it was available on QVC. And what Tarte has been doing a lot lately is releasing a lot of their products on QVC first, and then it hits their website and Sephora later on. So that is what they did this time. They released it on QVC. Um, the price for each of these was $35, but with $35, you also got a brush. So the brush is actually really nice. Um, it is pretty, pretty soft and it is used to blend this out. So I have two shades. I got the two lightest shades and I do have my two from Charlotte Tilbury. Now they are on their last, um, their last leg. The medium dark is obviously pretty dark for me, but I do have that one. The fair medium, um, it's seen better days and it's been out of stock for a while. So I really wasn't sure if I was going to purchase this and but i realized this one was almost out and it's out of stock and i don't know when it's going to come back so um i decided you know what let's just go ahead and do it i'm going to review it see how it compares this one these run 40 this one was 35 but with the brush not sure what the price will be on once it's at on at tarte or sephora but um, i'm curious to see what the comparison is so let's get to it Okay, on the QVC website, it states from Tarte, Shape Tape Sculpt Tape is an all-in-one sculpting tool to effortlessly slim, shape, and define in no time. The goof-proof precision cushion applicator applies color exactly where you want it to effortlessly create shadow and definition. Then it talks about some of the um, ingredients and then, you know, but pretty much they copied it's it is a copy of charlotte tilbury i mean that's now as far as the project inside of it i don't know but it is pretty much a copy it is the same size it the applicators look the same now honestly while i like the way this applies it can be very messy you have the turning on and off um that helps but that it does get really messy around here and i usually have to take a tissue to be able to turn it on and off Otherwise, it's going to get everywhere. So I'm not really like this one again. This has seen better days, but they copied it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So let's go ahead and look look at the shades, and then we'll do comparisons at the end. Now, as opposed to Charlotte Tilbury, it does come in five shades. It comes in soft bronze, which is for porcelain to fair light skin tones cool bronze, which is light to light medium skin tones, warm bronze, which is medium to tan skin tones, deep bronze, which is tan deep to deep skin tones, and then rich bronze, which is rich to espresso skin tones. So definitely a bigger range um, instead of just fair medium and medium to dark. So you got five shades instead of two. I picked up soft bronze, which is the least, which is porcelain to fair light. Um, and I'll look at that one first. And then I also got cool bronze, which is light to light medium skin tone. So as you can see, mine is brand new and uh, I opened it up and oh, this one actually came out pretty, pretty fast. So there we go. And let's take a look at the product. So that is the soft bronze. And here is the cool bronze and I'll, oops. And here is the cool, oops, <laughs> a little too much. Okay, that came out a lot faster than I thought. Okay, so for now I'm gonna take it on my finger and put it on here. That is the cool bronze. Um, that came out a little faster than I expected. So let's take a look. Oh, that's crap, oh well. Okay, so we have soft bronze here, which you can kind of see. And this is the cool bronze. And they do look to, to blend out quite quite nicely so there we go and um let me go ahead let's go ahead and compare some now compare them now to charlotte tilbury okay so here is the fair medium and gonna see put that there so 
It's very similar to the soft bronze. I think it's probably closer to the soft bronze than to the cool bronze. And now here for the medium dark, I think this one's gonna be just, yeah, this one's just a lot darker. Again, this is probably gonna be more comparison to the other tones. Now I can use this one, I just have to use it very light-handed because it does blend out so much. So as you can see there, it blends out pretty nicely, but it is considerably darker. Okay, so I reapplied on the inside of my hand just so that I could get a better look at it. This is the soft bronze, it's the lightest shade. And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury and this is the cool bronze. So very similar and honestly, um, really, really similar in texture. I would say the Charlotte Tilbury has a little bit more of a sheen to it, but very, very subtle. And ironically, the cool bronze seems to have a little bit more red in it than the other one but if you love the shade of the fair medium for charlotte tilbury and it's out of stock then the soft bronze is almost almost an exact match i think um i think and then the cool bronze is just a shade darker so if you're like me i think i like the cool bronze more because i've always felt like the the fair medium was just a tad bit light but the the medium dark was too dark so I really like this cool bronze because it's just giving me a little bit more. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go in with the cool bronze today um, and see how I like it and compare it how it looks on the skin. Okay, so I pulled my hair back a little bit. I'm actually gonna go in with the soft bronze because I'm going to compare it and do half my face with the soft bronze and half my face with the Charlotte Tilbury just to do a side-by-side -side comparison. And since these are the closest match, I'm going to use um, these two shades. Um, I think I prefer the cool bronze for myself, just for my skin tone, especially if I'm going to be spray tanned, I would definitely use the cool bronze. But for today, for the purposes of testing, I will use this one. And um, so let's get into it. And let's start with the, um, we'll start with the tart and I'll start on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna do what I always do with the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just gonna go in, that one. That first one was a little high, and just do that. And I'm going to use the brush they gave and just kind of smooth it out. And this blends out really nice. This is, I don't know, Charlotte, Tarte's coming after you on this one. This one, that blends out really nice. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with Charlotte and again, just apply it. Now I do have two brushes because I do order, I ordered two. So going with the other brush and just blending this out. And that's the thing about the Charlotte Tilbury is it always blended out so easily. That's the reason why I can use the, the medium deep because I can blend it out. So honestly, and just looking with my little mirror, they, they feel the same. I think they look the same. They blend it out really easily. Now the texture feels a little different, but I don't think it's noticeable. It doesn't feel like it's the exact same formula. It feels different, but I don't think it, you're gonna see it on your face. Okay, so now we'll go around the forehead really quick and just a little bit there. And I'll go in with my tart brush. And again, again, it's just blending out like a dream. It really blends out really really nicely and then let's go in with my charlotte tilbury on the other side and grab the other brush and blend this one out and again let's see again you know i i know what i'm getting with charlotte and this product is pretty, pretty old it's i need to replace it i just i can't because it's sold out but yeah, I am. I'm impressed. Like it is, it's not a, I would say it's not a dupe because it's pretty much the same price. I think it's $5 cheaper. Now you do get the brush with it, but it's, it's almost, it's, it's a dupe. I mean, it's a dupe, but that's relatively the same price. But again, the Charlotte Tilbury one is sold out. You can't get it. So you, and you haven't been able to get it for months. So if you've been wanting to try the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, well, Tarte's got one for you now. Okay, so there we have it. There is my side-by-side -side comparison. I don't know, um, is it a dupe? Yeah, I guess it is a dupe, even though it's pretty much the same price, but if you buy it on QVC, 
you do get the brush. So $35, you get the brush, it's $5 cheaper. Now you do have to pay for shipping. So it comes out to be the same price as it would be with Charlotte Tilbury. But again, Charlotte Tilbury, it's been out of stock for forever. Um, you know, who knows when it's gonna come back. I, I think it's great. I think it's great. I, I love, I, you know, the, the stuff that I love about Charlotte, it's easy to apply, even though the applicator get, can get messy it does make it very easy to apply and blend out. Um, don't do what I did and you know just take too much product out, but it's easy to blend out. This brush is definitely worth it, so definitely buy it on QVC if you can. But um, yeah, and I think honestly, the shade range is better. The shade range is so much better than Charlotte and I love Charlotte Tilbury, so that hurts me. But Charlotte only has two shade ranges, or two shades, Tarte has five. And I, the, med the fair medium is too light when I, when I have a spray tan or when I'm tan. Um, so the cool bronze is definitely one I'm going to use like when I'm on vacation or anything um, because it's just a better shade for me. Whereas uh, Tarte has five and Charlotte Tilbury only has two. So right there, it's, it's, it's a better product. But everything I love about Charlotte Tilbury, it has. So um, if you are interested in it, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, I am probably gonna be working on a video because I was working on a dupes video of Charlotte Tilbury with like the Milani and some other dupes. So I will be including that in this video. That's probably coming in the next, probably end of January, um, early February. But now I can include this one in that as well. But yeah, I definitely recommend. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone. <laughs>